Hello and welcome to the Riley Center, ladies and gentlemen, where tonight the St. Bonaventure Bonnies will host the UNC Greensboro Spartans. Bonnies looking to bounce back after a tough loss Monday night at UB. Yes, Bonnies, Bonnies took a tough loss to UB. Lost by, by seven points, a couple possessions. You hate, to, you hate to have those tough losses, but they're back home. Hopefully they can get some home cooking, as you say, and can get a win. Definitely looking to get a win, and I'm I'm Amy McKinney here tonight, and I'm here with Jordan Gathers. Yes. And and like you said, the Bonnies really struggled in that game and committed 27 team turnovers, and back in the RC, looking to get back on the right page. Yeah, definitely. Like you said, they had all those turnovers. The turnovers are going to be a huge key tonight as they go up against UNC Greensboro. The Spartans um, are a great defensive team beyond the arc, and the Bonnies have really struggled beyond three. So hopefully they can pick it up tonight. Exactly, as you said, the Bonnies have only made four threes over the last three games since the last time we broadcast the game here in the RC versus Colgate. So right. lo looking to see if this team can can bounce back, as you said, and home court cooking is always good. <laughs> oh, it's always good. And hopefully the Bonnies can enjoy a nice plate of it. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnies win the tip. Ball in the hands of Healy. Healy swinging it to Ruff. Ruff automatically attacking. Bonnies have the ball now in the corner. Richmond get into Healy. Bonnie's looking to attack early with Healy, and Healy misses. We get the offensive board, and Bonnie's reset at the top of the key. Great offensive rebound by Healy. And the Bonnie's able to get a quick bucket right there, Hannah Little, off that second chance opportunity, which is big for a team that's struggling, don't you think? The young rough rider in the open court hits Little, and the Bonnies take a 4-0 lead in the first two minutes. The freshman pushing the, pushing the ball down the court and gives a nice no-look pass for the finish to handle Little. And Jordan, can you talk about being a freshman? You're getting your first start here in the RC. You get the ball in transition and get an easy assist. Is that, is that big for your confidence? Oh, it's huge. It's tremendous for your confidence when you make a great play like that, whether it be defensively or the no-look pass for Ruff. We see Little attacking in transition, and the Bonnie's up 6-0 early in the first three minutes of the game, and Bonnie's looking to get that ball and go tonight. Oh, yeah, basketball just going everywhere. Ruff looking to respond with the three, and she does. Bang, bang. The Bonnie's now ahead 11-5. She's got a sweet looking form right there. Let's go, Jeff. Collins attacking and kicking out. And another three made by the Spartans. That by number... How do you think Coach Crowley intends to use his three main guards in the rotation while switching it up tonight? I think he just wants to apply pressure on the Spartans tonight, just giving them different looks. Mariah Ruff kind of pushes into transition. Then you have Emily Michael, who, who's the table setter, who gets everybody calmed down and gets the offense going. You put that in a great way, a table setter for other players to eat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> For the home cooking, of course. <laughs> home cooking. <laughs> and when you come off a game, and one basket by Zahn off the cut. The Spartans lead the Bonnies by two. Bonnies are going to set something up. Ball stolen by Williams, who kicks it ahead. And the basket is converted by number 25, Shanice Harris. After a rough miss. Ruff attacking the rim and the freshman with 10 first half points. Ruff cannot be stopped tonight. She is going from all, from everywhere tonight. The Ruff Rider, as she's been coined by a famous guy I know. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't happen to be you, would it? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Talk about the home, home court cooking and Ruff fouled. Taking a, taking a rough tumble there. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's all right. She'll be okay. She, she's a rough rider. She'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this replay. Healy pushing it coast to coast. <laughs> the center able to do that is always big. And Spartans come right back down. Great pass by Foster who passes it to Savage. Savage now with 15 points on the evening. And Zahn able to get a steal right back, but it's going to be a jump ball between the two teams. And, and the Spartans will get this possession. And that's going to be a travel on Missouri, who looked like she went to Missouri and came back before she took the shot attempt. 
Oh, yeah, they're dancing. <laughs> they're dancing out there. And, oh, uh, escape pass. Can yeah. Ball is stolen. I'm Savage nervous. attacking. And a fourth travel called. In the matter of 20 seconds, we've seen four travels called. <laughs> this is unreal. This We're is. taking trips for break today. <laughs> We're taking some trips today. Great timeout call by Coach Crowley. He needs to settle, settle his girls down. Too many turnovers there for both teams. Both coaches definitely have to settle their girls down because I don't think anybody was prepared to take that many trips tonight. <laughs> you got to get a little tired after a while, you know. You can't just, you can't go here. You can't go to Missouri and India and, and back to Oleand. You can't do all that in one night. <laughs> it's unrealistic. <laughs> you have to think about this, too. A double dribble call. A little patty, patty cake there. <laughs> When's the last time a double dribble call was made? I don't even, we don't even call double dribble in 21. I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you take a look at that. That's just tough. Savage. Savage has lived up to her last name tonight. She's come in here. She's played aggressively. She's played like a Savage attacking again. And oh, unable to convert that basket. Collins will go to the line and looks in this drought. Jessica Collins with eight points on the evening. Able to convert the first of two free throws. And Collins, I have to mention this. I have to mention this. Two favorite athletes is Tamika Catchings and a guy that really means a lot to me. LeBron James, she makes the second free throw. <laughs> <laughs> Jeray Savage against Ruff. The two stars of the first half. Yes. Both have pulled off though as of late. Ruff with the three, and that three will most likely seal the victory for the Bonnies and. But uh, like you said, the freshman, Ruff, did a great job starting the day, filling in that role for Emily Michael and, and really selling the deal. And she added a, a different element to this team. Emily Michaels, as we know, you she said she sets the plate for others to eat. Ruff is able to set the plate, eat a little bit, and take a drink here and there. So she was able to come <laughs> out here tonight and a great performance in her first start of the game, uh, first start of her career. Yes, me. definitely.